Look at this. This is genuinely quite exciting and frustrating all at the same time. Too early in the morning to use the rattle gun. Don't think the neighbours would like that. It's on the ground. Ride heights all the pot, isn't it? No more. Good. Okay, let's look up roll cage. We're gonna start off in section R for rallying. Uh, here we go. Safety, 48.10.1. Have as a minimum a ROPS complying with K.1 section K appendix to drawing number five or six. Now let's start off with ROPS. What does ROPS stand for? It stands for rolled o Roll Over Protection System. Uh, it needs to comply with K1. Now K in the blue book is all about safety. Uh, and in there, we have all the different sections uh, regarding what roll cage that you need. Because obviously every different type of motorsport needs or requires a certain type of roll cage. Now, for our rallying, we need uh, Drawing number five or six. Five or six, there we go, look. As a minimum. But it also, wait for it, and long, and longitudinal door bars complying with K.1.3.5B side protection from appendix K, drawing number nine. Look at that, so it's got dash bar, door bars, and the bar that goes across the back uh, between the rear brace, that one there, look. Now, the good news is we've got all of that and more in this cage. Okay, let's see if we can get this cage in. The last time I tried to put this cage in, it wasn't even a roof. Oh, that's easier than expected.
too old for this shit. What film's that from? Ugh. Could be from many of the films. I'm getting too old for this. Shenanigans. I've still got to drill these. But. Well, it's in. Oh no, I've still got to put those bolts in there. Oh, I've still got to put those in. Oh, I've still got to put those in. Nowhere near. It's now half past four. It's taken me most of the day. And it's probably going to take me half of tomorrow. the next day well I'd like to say the cage is in <laughs> but it's not uh, so all the anchor points are now everything's bolted in all I've got to do now excuse the noise from my neighbor is uh, I've got to drill all these right. now in a hindsight I'm thinking it might have been wiser to have done that before. <laughs> oh well, I can imagine this is going to be quite challenging. Let's see what happens. Can you hear that? Spitfire. Never quick enough with the camera. And that's where the footage runs out, I'm afraid, because I've uh, lost it or accidentally deleted it or something like that. Sorry about that, uh, but I have a plan. But in the meantime, I'd very much like to thank those that made a contribution and sponsored the fire suppression system for the Rally Mini. We've actually meet, met that target now. And I am not only humbled, but gobsmacked at your generosity. Thank you very much. I'll be placing an order for that this week and be sure when it arrives, we'll certainly do an installation video. Right, so back to the footage of fitting the roll cage. Um, talking about sponsorship, those that are patrons um, and other sponsors, I do a uh, midweek update just to let everybody know what's happening and, and what's going on. Um, so 
I'm going to go back into the archives and I'm going to show the footage that I send out to our sponsors when I did the roll cage. The quality is not brilliant, but you'll get the gist. Okay, run VT. Hello and welcome back to another midweek update for our sponsors and teammates. So unfortunately, it hasn't been a very productive day, um, but there is some good news. Uh, sorry, hasn't been a very productive week, but it has. But I've got some good news. The roll cage is now officially in. Gee whiz! I mean, say I got the cage in last uh, last week, but what I didn't have fitted was the door bars and the um, dash bar. Massive mistake on my behalf. What I didn't do during the dry build, I didn't drill and bolt these bolts. You know, do this. I just put the sleeves on and went, yeah, that'd be fine. Wow. Yeah, I really should have drilled those. I should have assembled it inside the car, marked the holes, taken the whole thing back out again, and then drilled the holes so that when I assemble it again inside the car, I can do it. So, but what I've had to do now is to drill the holes while it was in the car. Yeah, very hard. Um, and silly things like, like here, so obviously you could, you could just waz a drill straight down there and hope that it lines up with the hole at the bottom. In some sort of angles like that, you can easily make a mistake. So what I was doing is I was using my, uh, whatever these are called. What are these bad boys called? You know, because you because they're 10 mil, so you put a 10 mil one in and you, it's like a centre punch, but you know it's exactly in the middle of the hole. I was doing that on all four sides of the tube, uh, but of course then I, and then I was hoping to drill it, but of course I couldn't drill it, so I went out and I bought one of these, my new favourite tool. It's going to work. Anyway, that allowed me to get access in between. Uh, the other issue was obviously my my drill bits were too long, so I had to custom make some drill bits. So I cut one down, yeah, some, yeah. and I've had to learn the art. This is one of those things that I've always wanted to learn. You know, when I for, when I was a mechanic when I left school, at the age of seventeen or whatever, there was the old guys that would be sharpening their own drill bits, and I began, oh, that's amazing. Give them my drill bits. I should have actually sat there and said, just teach me how to do it. Um, so it's one of those things I'm doing now. Uh, so I went out and I bought myself a really cheap bench grinder. because so I've got that one there, which I use for just hack jobs. But this one, I forget what grits they are. That's that's coarse-ish and that's fine. Um, looking on YouTube, I learned how to do it. And I've got these little marks on the plates. Sorry, I can't see what I'm doing by there. You see these little um, marks there? That's to get my angle just right. Sorry, get my angle just right. And anyway, that is a new skill that I've learned. Back to the car though. So yeah, roll cage is in, that's really good. Um, battery's positioned where I want it to be. Um, painted it black, that's how all the plates are gonna be eventually black. Uh, and I'm now putting the dashboard in. 